This is your Body Sculpt Workout. I'm Max and Jacqueline, and we are going to sculpt your body from head to toe, all low impact. It's going to burn and feel amazing. All you need is a set of light hand weights. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making videos like this for you. Okay, let's jump into the workout. Okay, grab your weights. We're gonna get right into the workout. We're gonna do interval style for the first couple of exercises. So you're gonna come all the way down, reach up towards the sky, bring right knee to right elbow, come up, down, up, right knee to right elbow. Stay on the right side, okay? So let's get into this workout. I'm super excited. I love this type of working out where it's nice, slow, controlled movements. And let's go up and down. So slow controlled movements. We're also working deep into the core as we work our legs full body. You are always asking for full body workouts. Here you go. <laughs> so we're using arms, legs, abs, everything you've got. Nice. So let that heart rate come up a little bit. Feel yourself getting stronger with each and every rep. Nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you your next exercise. You're gonna uh, step back into a back lunge as the arms extend into a bicep extension, and then back in. So lunge and up, lunge and up. I'm already getting a little breathless with the first reps. Here we go, reach and up, reach and up. So staying on the right side, and then we're gonna do everything on the left side. Okay, so arms are extending long, these weights add a lot to the movement. A little bit of coordination as well. You've got it. Good, now we're gonna stay in this lunge position and we're just going to reach the arms up overhead and then you're gonna dive your chest forward towards the front of your thigh as the arms swing back and then the arms swing all the way back up. Good, just like that. So we're swinging back and swing up. You're gonna feel the hamstring work a lot right here. Close up those ribs and then think about lengthening through the spine. So really lengthen all the way through, especially right here. Long line, no rounded back, okay? All the way up. Feel the weights in your hands driving through the leg. Keep going. Good. take a little breather, I'll show you your next move. We're gonna just simply reach forward and lift up. Okay, let's turn the palms up. So we're gonna lift and lower. Think about the core, the belly button, and the ribs. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and lower. Arms are really, really straight. And I want you to think about the belly button squeezing up into the spine, lengthening out through the top of the head. Good, everything is working together as one unit. Keep the body solid. Breathing, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, good. it forward, here we go. I'm gonna show you your next move. Elbows squeeze in, come down, and we're gonna extend and in. So that supporting leg is still in that same position, really working those hamstring there. We're gonna just tap it back, pull it in. Try to squeeze the shoulder blades as much as you can. Let's go, up and up. Good, really feeling those arms work with the legs. Reach and reach. Try to lift the shoulders up, or sorry, the elbows up. 
Shoulders stay back. Reach and reach. Woo. Lots of good arm work, leg work. Keep going. Reach and reach. And rest. Okay, this next one, we will not be using the legs, thankfully. And we're just gonna do bicep up here and then bicep lift here. So just front and side, but just make sure that you're still keeping a nice toned core. You're not just totally slouching here. You're still, let's go. Let's, we're still working our posture, all these muscles right here. So I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest tall and proud. Feel like you've got your queen crown on right now. Nice, keep it up, keep going. Okay, next move before we move on to the other leg. So we're gonna do just chest flies here. So lift and then we're gonna row. So alternating between the fly up here and the elbow squeezing back here together. So squeeze those shoulder blades together when you do the row. Let's go. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Make sure that your ribs are pulled in here and you're not letting everything kind of fly out, right? The back stays nice and straight and strong, and then squeeze back. breather. Okay, now we're going to move on to the other leg. Remember all the way at the beginning, those squats. I know it seems like forever ago. We're going to do them here. We're going to squat down, reach up. Now we're going to go to the left side. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Squat it down, up, in, and. Okay, a little breather. Let's go into our lunge with the bicep extension. So left leg is gonna go back this time as you extend long, tap it in, lunge, tap it in. Both legs go into a 90 degree angle. Let's go. Reach and in. Reach. So that knee just barely touches the floor, just kisses doesn't hold there, but just a little down and up. Feel the hamstring and the right leg working here. Reach and in, keep going. Okay, so a little breather. We're gonna go into our lunge here. So my back leg is pretty much straight. You can bend it a little bit, but we're gonna go into our swan dives. The main thing is that your knee is over your heel, okay? So make sure you're all set up correctly. Reach up and then dive it forward all the way down. Nice flat back here. Drive into the heel, up. Pull the abs in. Nice long straight 
spine right here. Feel the line from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Beautiful, take your time with it. Move slow, move intentionally. Take a breather. We're gonna do our swan dives to, or stay in this little swan dive kind of position. And we're just gonna lift up and lower. Palms face up this time. So I'm just pitched forward right here. Let's go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. This is a great isometric hold on the right leg. Good. You can even tilt the booty up just slightly so that you get into the hamstrings and the base of the glute. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Whew. I feel it for sure in my leg, my arms, my back. Of course, my core is always turned on. Stay down. Come up, good, okay. Tricep extensions with a little tap back. So it's come down like a chair pose here, as deep as you can go, and you're just barely tapping that other leg. Really, there's no weight at all in that left leg. And then elbows back, squeeze, let's go. Tricep extension, keep those ribs pulled in, lower belly pulled up and in towards your spine, like someone sewed your belly button up and in, good. Last one here for the legs, so keep holding. You've got it. Okay, so now we're gonna move back into our bicep extension. Same thing as we did before. You're gonna pull up and then swing over to the side. You're relaxed through the body, but also tone in the core. Okay, let's go. And this would be a great time to catch your breath. So inhaling in through the nose and slow exhales. The slow exhales is actually how you can signal to your body that it's okay to relax. So take a little bit longer on those exhales. Okay, now we've got our chest flies. Last one of this round. So we're gonna do up and then, remember the elbows squeeze into to each other without letting the ribs fly open. Okay, so that's your challenge right there. Just to keep those in, abs in. Here we go, lift up and then elbows in. Sink it down a little bit further, see if you can sit a little bit into your chair more. Lift and pull in, good. Flat back. Let's come down to the mat and we're gonna move into some core exercises now. All right, so let's go onto our backs all the way here like this. And the left arm is gonna reach overhead, right leg is gonna extend long. I'm on my toe, just like this. And we're gonna lift everything up together. Lower belly squeezes down and in, and then everything is going to lift back out. Okay, inhale 
and exhale 10 times like this. Nine, eight, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, five more, keep going. Hold it here, little pulses up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, let's switch to the other side. Stay up on the ball of the toe. Everything is going to extend long. Everything is going to reach up. Good, keep going. 10 like this. 10, inhale. Nine, inhale. Hold it here, little pulses up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, now we're gonna come into a little froggy crunch here. We're gonna crunch it in. We're gonna extend everything long, out, in. I crisscross my legs to the other direction, and then I pull it all in. My hips are gonna come up off of the ground just a little bit to activate the lowest part of your core. Okay, you're gonna extend out in and pull it in. Okay, here we go. And 10. Exhale as you come in. Okay, now we're gonna lift back up. Keep the legs in this nice little cross position with the toes pointed. You're just gonna lower one leg at a time. Up, cross, lower, up, little cross at the top. So notice how I switch up at the top here like this, and then I lower down. My shoulders are up off of the ground, my ribs are pulled in, lower belly down, chin in towards the chest, okay? I know, lots of little things, you've got it. And up, little cross, down. Up, little switch, good. So you wanna just try to lift your chest up off of the floor as much as possible, rather your shoulder blades, and just make this smooth, beautiful, and graceful. Okay, it's not about speed or how many reps. This is really about you getting into your body, really embodying your own body. Many times we get stressed and we actually really disconnect so this is your time to look at your own body. Be here now. Connect to your beautiful muscles, your mind, your strength, your inner strength. It's all right here for you. You just get to connect to it. Four more. Four and up. We're gonna switch gears a little bit and we're going to take the weight and put it in our knee. So we're gonna put the weight in the knee right here and then we're going to lie on our side and be in like this little 90 degree angle with both knees, okay? So right here, you're just going to lift the knee up, lower the knee down like this. So I have the weight right here and I'm squeezing the weight 
and I'm lifting and lowering. It's kind of like a clam, but the feet are off, so it's more staying in this parallel position the whole time. It takes a little bit of practice, but I think you can do it, okay? Here we go, and this one is going to be 45 seconds on, so you can just take it at your own pace as opposed to reps. Lift and lower, lift and lower, good. So this really gets into those glutes right here, which I love, these outer hips. Always get requests for the outer hips here and the glutes, bubble booty here. This is, this is a good move for that. Good, also having strong hips and glutes like this keeps your knees really safe because joints are connected. So if you have knee issues, you can look above the joint, usually maybe below, but that's always a good way to think about it. This is helping your knees stay nice and safe as well and your booty to stay perky too. Okay, it's a win-win. So now we're going to take the knee, we're just going to wrap it back, just a little wrap, and then squeeze it in. So it stays on this plane the whole time. Wrap, it does take a lot of focus and concentration. Let's go, 45 seconds, but you can do it. So really, really squeeze right here, and then pull it in, good. Squeeze, 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 so it stays on the same level the whole time. You may need to look at it like I'm doing, that just helps to keep that connection here. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. I know it wants to let go, but don't let it. And squeeze. You've got it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Pull the abs in, keep those working. We just did a great ab set, so keep that fire there. Good. All right, so now we're going to tap the toe and we're gonna tap the knee. Keep that weight right there, I know. Tap the toe, tap the knee. All right, we're gonna start in four seconds. Keep the core turned on. Good, here we go. Tap and knee and tap and knee. Ooh, now you start to feel it, I'm sure. Tap. Ooh. Definitely feeling this. Getting deep into those glutes. I love it though. Keep it going, keep it going. up. We're going to go into all fours here. You're going to put the, the weight into the left hand. We're going to extend in all fours. So you're going to extend the left arm forward and the right leg back and then we're going to swoop it around to the side and lift. Good. So let's go up and arm go side, leg go side. So you're going to feel the core, the booty, the arm, full body move right here. We're gonna take the weight, put it inside of your right knee, and we're gonna take an attitude lift. So your elbows are down, let me turn so you can see me. So attitude lift is gonna be a little bit open, and then it taps down. Open, and then tap down, okay? Keep going, up and tap, up and tap. This is another one of those exercises where you really have to focus on squeezing the weight. That's why I love having it there because it's immediate feedback for you as to where you are. Good. Lift and lower. Last exercise here before we go into the left side. Whew. Making it through one rep at a time, right? Good. Little 
little breather and let's immediately switch sides. So go ahead and lay down onto your right side, coming to 90 degrees with both knees. Squeeze the weight right here and then we're just going to lift on up. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. That left side was already working to help support the right side, so if it's getting to that burn really quickly, that's why. So it does feel pretty spicy in here. It's good, getting the most of your workout. Take a little breather. This next one, we're gonna we're gonna stay in the same plane. I'm watching it because it does want to kind of lift up, so it stays in the same level the whole time. Squeeze that glute, squeeze that hamstring, and then let's go. So you pull it in, and then it wraps around, almost like you're trying to touch your toe all the way up towards your back, like a little scorpion. Good. Squeeze and back. Nice job, keep it going. Take a little breather. We're gonna tap the toe and then the knee, toe and the knee. So we're really getting to the glutes. It's strengthening up, even with just these three pound weights. These three pounds can do so much. So if you're new to it, you could always take it down to one, try it without it first, and then add the weight. Good, so tap the knee down. Notice how my toe is lifted, and then I lift up, tap the toe. Tap the knee, and tap the toe. Good job. Keep that core going. Remember, this is always turned on, and this really helps to stabilize the hips as well. quickly, come on to all fours, and you're going to reach the right arm forward, left leg back, still staying with the left leg, and then remember it's gonna sweep around to the side, okay? These are our last two exercises here. Let's go lift, and up, Whew. Lots of really good core work. You wanna make sure that you keep this supporting arm straight, okay? Try not to dip down into it. Keep it straight, hips are over knees, shoulders are over your wrists. Put the weight in the knee, lower down onto your elbows, right here, and we're going to open up the knee and then tap the knee down. Okay, you gotta squeeze that weight really hard here, okay? Let's turn on those hamstrings. Let's give it all we got here, but we're still moving slow, okay? It doesn't mean we speed it up. The slower, the better in this instance because it means you really, really gotta connect Lots of times the body likes to speed up through places that are actually weak. So slowing it down kind of exposes everything. Good, keep it going. Oh, 
All right, let's take a quick little stretch here because that was a lot of glutes here at the end. You did an amazing job. I'm so proud of you. And I hope you're proud of yourself too. This is one of my favorite stretches here to do. I think I do it after like every video because it feels so good. Uh, amazing work. Love you all so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.